Dad. 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 Hey. Uh, huh? I can't believe you fell asleep in here again. You know you can't keep pulling these all-nighters. You're not 20 years old anymore. Uh, I'll be okay. I'm used to pulling all-nighters all the time when I was taking care of your mom. Uh, should I miss her? Writing this book brings back so many memories. I can only imagine. I hope that I find a husband that will take care of me the way you took care of her. Anyway, we've got to go, Dad. Okay, you know how these publishers are. If we're even five minutes late, they will cancel. You're right. I made some changes to the book. How do I... Dad, I've showed you this shortcut at least a hundred times. And you know I am about technology, Tina. Back in my day, it would print only if you just touched a key. Well, welcome to 2023, Daddy, okay? Get with the program. It's not a typewriter anymore, okay? Now we've got AI and chatbots and TikTok. Tickle what now? TikTok. Never mind. Just go, go, go. Come on, I'll do this for you and I'll meet you in the car, okay? <laughs> So, what do you think? Let me ask you something. How many books have you already published? None. This should be my first. I've been working on it for 10 years. 10 years? Are you kidding me? You know, writers nowadays come out with one book every other year minimum. Now, if that's what it takes to be successful. I, I understand. This project is very important to me. So I took my time with it. And to be honest with you, I'm not a fast type. Look, I'm gonna be real with you, old man. You have no experience. This book is mediocre at best. And if by some small chance that it is successful, I'll be dead by the time you come out with a second book. And if not me, definitely you. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. But the answer's no. But, but sir, please. This is a tribute to my wife. I promised her before she passed the whole world would know her story. It, it's really important. This is a business, Alvin. Nobody cares about some sob story about your wife. No offense. But just because it matters to you doesn't mean it's gonna matter to someone else. So if you don't mind. I understand, sir. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Uh, before I go, is there any advice you can give me? A lot of publishers have already said no. Then you might as well face the truth. You're way past your prime for writing. <laughs> hey, Dad. Well, how'd it go? Well, it went okay. You see, this one some more time to think about it, that's all. That's not a no, right? You okay? Yeah, I was just thinking, I don't know, maybe this, this book just isn't what it's supposed to be right now, you know? We've had like, what, 19 publishers? Stop it, Dad, you cannot think like that. You've worked really hard for this, okay? And I know how much it means to you, so you cannot give up now. Plus, we have one more meeting to go to. I don't know. You don't think maybe I'm too old to be an author? I mean, I am 62. I ain't no spring chicken. So it doesn't matter how old you are. You can be successful at any age. And you remember when Mom wanted to pick up ballroom dancing and how crazy you thought it was at first? Yeah, it was crazy, yeah. I remember being in class with 20-year-olds and 30-year-olds. You're right. When you told Mom that she was too old, what did she say? It's not too late. To go, to go after, after your dreams. dreams. I remember. And then one year after her first dance class, she was on stage dancing in front of dozens of people. Yeah. It was like the happiest I had ever seen her. I'll never forget how her eyes just lit up. It was like she was a kid again. It was right before she found out she had cancer. My point is, 
If mom wasn't too old to be a dancer in her 50s, there's no reason you can't be an author in your 60s, right? Now, come on. You've got one more meeting, and it's going to go great. I can feel it. You're just like your mom, Tina. You know that? She believed in me even when I didn't believe in myself. You remind me so much of her. Let's do this for let's, mom. Let's, let's. Come on. Mr. Trotter, <clears throat> uh, from what I've read so far, this is really sweet. Especially the part how you two met. You had me in tears. <laughs> It was love at first sight, no doubt. But everyone around us knew that Regina was my soulmate. So, you, you liked it? I do. But unfortunately, our firm doesn't publish these types of books. We focus more on fiction. That's why I'm sorry, Mr. Trotter, but I'm going to have to pass on it. You gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm just not looking forward to telling my daughter it's another no, you know? Um, anyway, thanks for your help. You know, Mr. Trotter, I usually don't meet with people who write nonfiction, but I, I just wanted you to know that your story really moved me. Have you considered self-publishing? Self-publishing? Is that a thing? Well, sure it is. Nowadays, you don't need a publisher at all. Technology's really changed the game. Wow. W what do I do? Do you know anyone who's good with technology? I'm sure they could help you figure it out. Thanks. Thank you very much. Alvin is excited to share this new plan with his daughter, Tina. As expected, Tina is completely on board and quickly learns everything about self-publishing. Within no time, she helps to get her father's book published. Alvin's over the moon when he gets to hold a copy of his book in his hands for the first time. He's finally on track to honor the promise he made to his late wife. To help get word out, Alvin sets up a book signing at a local store. Everything seems to be going great in the beginning, until he realizes no one cares about his new book. Not only does no one show up, there are no online sales either. He's only sold a few copies. Alvin starts to feel discouraged again. Little did he know, things were about to get even worse. Thank you. Your drink, my dear? Thanks. Mm. Wait, what is this? What you always get. Caramel coffee with soy milk and... Mm -mm. Oh, oh, that's your mom's drink order, isn't it? It's okay. I know she's been on your mind a lot lately. I just feel awful, you know? I made a promise to her and I broke it. Dad, you published a book about her. That's amazing. And much more than most would do. Yeah, but what's the point if nobody's gonna read it? My promise to her was to make sure the whole world knew her story. Not just three people. Look, I don't want you to feel that way, okay? Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sorry, I've got to take this call, but I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Wait. Don't tell me. Alvin Trotter, right? Hey, how have you been? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Hey, did you ever find a publisher for that book? Uh, somewhat. Uh, my daughter and I are self-publishing it. Oh, that's interesting. How many have you sold? Not a lot. Hmm. Okay, like, what? Three? 300,000? 3,000 what? No, as in, uh, three books total. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I needed that laugh. <laughs> it's just that I, I've never heard of anyone selling so few books. Oh, don't feel bad about it. But it's just like I told you. You're way past your prime for riding old time, huh? But there's always bingo. You know they have local game night over at the retirement home where I take my mom. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. It was actually Paul. You all right? I'm fine. I, I just need a minute, okay? Hi guys, my name is Tina Trotter and I have a story that I want to tell you. Ten years ago, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. While it was hard to watch her health go down, it was really inspiring to see my dad just be there by her side. Right before my mom passed, my dad made a promise to her that he would write a book telling her story so the whole world would know how much of an amazing woman that she is. And he's taken that promise pretty seriously. He devoted the next 10 years of his life to writing this book for my mom. And finally, this past year, he published it. Unfortunately, it hasn't gone quite as well as he hoped. Um, he's only sold three books, and my dad has taken it pretty hard. Feels like he broke his promise to my mom or is letting her down. So I thought I'd come on here and just ask for a miracle. If you find the kindness in your heart to support my dad, you don't understand how much that would mean to him if you bought his book. I'll put the link in my bio. Just thank you. Thank you so much. Out of desperation, Tina decides to post her emotional video on TikTok. And within a short time, to her surprise, the video ends up going viral. Sales for Alvin's book start pouring in. Alvin doesn't understand how this is all happening, but he's over the moon in excitement. Everywhere he goes, people start to recognize him and tell him how much they love his wife's story. Alvin is so happy that he's finally delivering on his promise and honoring Regina's legacy. He even decides to do another book signing. And this time, he's in for a little surprise. Thank you so much. This tribute to your wife is so beautiful. Reminds me of my late wife. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Trotter, it's such a pleasure. This book was so touching. The way you speak about your wife is truly inspirational. I must have cried a hundred times reading it. Thank you so much. You know, Regina was an incredible woman. I'm glad people all over the world know that now, too. You know, seeing what you've done makes me want to write my own book. But it's probably not a good idea. Why not? Well, for starters, look at me. I'm in my 70s. I'm way too old to start a writing career. That's not true. My dear Regina would always tell me, and my beautiful daughter would remind me, you are never too old to go after your dreams. Never. That's so beautiful. Maybe I'll write my first page today. You know, I really don't have an excuse to, not to try. My son's a publisher. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's around here someplace. All right, I'm over here, son. You. 
You two know each other? Congrats, Alvin. I mean, who'd have thought? Your book's a huge success. I can't believe it's been at the top of the charts six weeks in a row now. Not bad for an old man past his prime, right? Yeah, uh, look. I want to apologize for doubting you. But I uh, definitely see the value in what you're doing now. I can't even believe my own mother is a big fan of your work. Listen, I was thinking, maybe we could uh, meet up to discuss a possible second book deal. Really? You want to sign me now? I appreciate it. Thank you, but But I got everything I need right here. Maybe uh, you can help your mom with her book. Wow, that sounds like a great idea. Come on, son. We can talk about it in the car. We don't want to hold up the line. Come on. Take care now. Yeah. Mom would be so proud of you. You know that? Now, all we have to do is find me a husband. Hmm. I've got an idea. What? Maybe I can get the whole world to help me do that thing with, uh, you know, what do you call it? Tick a who? Tick a what? Tick tock, Dad. Oh. Uh, it's not a bad idea, actually. Where's your phone? <laughs> <laughs>